While making the junk shop, I wanted to render multiple angle shots, but some textures look very blurred. The only option was to render close-ups of objects with good texture resolution. Many shots were lost because of this, but that will be a job for another project. My next project was for a client. The job was to texture a scene, in which all objects needed the same texture resolution. On my quest to learn and solve this, I found the term Texel Density. Leonardo Lessi explained the subject quite well in his tutorial, but it does not include any Blender information. To shift this on Blender, I found the add-on Texel Density Checker, making it possible to select any Texel Density you prefer. This solved the problem. Now, I can select the texture resolution and have the same quality on every object and do as many renders as I want. This is Alex Trevino and in this video I explain how to get great texture resolution. On many occasions I see that there is a misunderstanding with texture resolution you can have 4K textures and have a terrible resolution. Because this depends on how much space you use within the UV map. In this image, you can see how bad is the use of the UV area on the map, giving us a low resolution and a low texel density. The goal is to completely fill the space as in this image. The amount of space is measured in texel density. The higher the texel density is, the more resolution you will have in the texture. The goal is to avoid objects with different resolutions or that the resolution is so low that the textures look blurred. Here we have a low resolution texture on the right and a high resolution on the left. Texel density is used in video games and films, usually with the same amount for all objects. Leonardo Lessi made this table for his Texel Density tutorial. This helps me choose the optimal Texel Density. For far away shots like RTS camera, use low density. For a third person camera like Dark Souls, use medium density. And high density for a first person shooter. But sometimes it's necessary to have a set of different densities. In this case, the character with the highest density, objects at an average distance with medium density, and the background objects with the lowest density. To choose the texel density of an object with Blender, it is necessary to use an add-on. I use Texel Density Checker, which is free on Gumbroth, and it's done by Ivan Bostrikov. The link is in the description below. Now, inside Blender, the first thing to do is to install the add-on. Choose the size of the textures, I usually start with 4K. Try different densities and choose the highest texture density that fits inside the 4K texture. In this case, it is 256. After that, join multiple objects inside the same UV map. In this project, I used 7 UV maps there are two common types of problems. The first one, an object doesn't fit inside the UV map. And for this case, I add more sims. Now, the object fit inside the UV map. The second, plenty of unused area on the UV map. For this, downgrade from 4K to 2K. But you need to keep the same texel density. In this case, it is 256. Finally, rename every object, adding the map size. I hope you liked the video, and if you want more information about Texel Density, go to Leonardo Lessi's tutorial. Also, if you want to know more about this project, there is a video that includes all the process. The link is in the description below. Thank you very much, I hope you liked the video, 